So in situations in which only the direction, but not the length of a tangent vector, the derivative of our vector valued function is of interest, we work in these cases with the unit tangent vector. So the unit tangent vector is a vector with a magnitude of one formed by dividing the tangent vector by its length. So here we go, here's our formal definition. We want to begin by letting vector r of t be our vector valued function. And this is a smooth and parametrized curve. So in other words, it's continuous and differentiable on a closed interval. So then, the unit tangent vector for some arbitrary parameter t is defined as follows. So we define this unit tangent vector as capital T of our parameter little t. And this is the tangent vector, the derivative of our vector valued function, divided by the length of our tangent vector. So again, this is a unit vector pointing in the direction of the tangent vector. And this is going to be particularly helpful in applications throughout the semester because it's always nice to work with a vector of length one. So let's go ahead now and explore some examples. Find the unit tangent vector at the given value of t for the following parametrized curve. So this beautiful vector valued function here, vector r of t, defined as cosine of 2t for 3 sine of 2t for t greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to pi. And we want to find the unit tangent vector specifically at t is equal to pi by 2. So what is our goal here? What do we want to find? We need the unit tangent vector evaluated at pi by 2. So we are going to need to calculate the tangent vector and then evaluate this at pi by 2 and then divide that by its length. So this is the goal here. This is what we are going to go about finding. So we need to start by finding the tangent vector. So looking at our beautiful parametrized curve and differentiating, we are left with the vector valued function minus 2 sine of 2t. 4 differentiates to 0, and 3 sine of 2t becomes 6 cosine of 2t. So we're ready to evaluate. Let's see what is the tangent vector going to be at pi by 2. So plugging this in, we have negative 2 multiplied by sine of 2 multiplied by pi by 2. 0 still remains 0. And then we have 6 multiplied by cosine of 2 times pi over 2. And look at all this wonderful simplification we have. 2 divided by 2, of course, goes to 1 in both cases. Now, what is sine of pi? zero. So this goes to zero. What about cosine of pi? Negative one. So this is going to leave us with the simplified vector. Negative two times zero is of course zero. And we have zero. Negative one times six is minus six. So here is the tangent vector evaluated at pi by two. So we'll now go ahead and use this to find the magnitude, which will ultimately allow us to find the unit tangent vector at this t value. So here we go. We'll use this vector to find the magnitude of the tangent vector at pi over 2. So we have the square root of 0 squared plus 0 squared plus 6 squared, which of course is 36. And what is the square root of 36? 6. Woohoo! So we have the tangent vector. We now have the magnitude of our tangent vector. And we're ready now to find the unit tangent vector. So we can say that, therefore, the unit tangent vector at pi divided by 2 is equal to, of course, that tangent vector 
evaluated at this t value, all over the magnitude of our tangent vector. Now notice here, with our tangent vector, we have a scalar multiple of 6. So I'm going to pull that to the front. So this is the vector, the scalar multiple of the vector. We have 6 times 0, 0, minus 1. And that's all divided by the magnitude of 6. And of course, 6 divided by 6 goes to 1, leaving us with the beautiful final answer, the vector 0, 0, negative 1. Or we could simply go ahead and rewrite this as minus vector k. So that's a unit vector pointing in the negative z direction. And our beautiful final answer.